It is a pain to know that there are people who do not know Jesus. It is a greater pain to know that oftentimes Jesus and Christianity is being distorted. Who told you you can't accomplish your dreams? I had no clue what the gospel was. I never really heard it. You know God wants you healthy. I worked for my uncle Benny Hinn, who's a famous faith healer. As far as I knew, he died and rose again so that I could have a prosperous life. But what was going through my mind at the time was that this was real. Charlatans and snake oil salesmen have been doing this trick for decades. People think basically that religion is there to boost your ego, make you happy, make you more successful, make life go well. Um, and as I got older, I really started to question God and how He could send people to hell. Scripture says that we make the mistake of thinking God was like us. And what you do is you create a God who only wants to give you all the desires of your heart. Your destiny is calling out. It's time to start living large. We stayed in hotels upwards of $20,000 a night. Nobody wants to die, nobody wants to be sick, and nobody wants to be poor. All the things that Jesus says we have to be willing to set aside to follow Him. They take all of those things and they make that the attraction of the gospel. We are exporting the very worst of what Christianity has to offer. I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm blessed, I'm favored. I am a victor, not a victim. I'm going to live a long, productive, faith-filled life. In terms of biblical Christianity, Christianity is about dying. How can I just continue to live my life as if this isn't true? So I abandoned my version of the American dream and I said, I will do what I can to take the gospel to the nations. 